Hi everyone, in this quick video, I want to show you how to create components variants in Figma. So here in this file, I have four buttons and I want to create a one component with its four variants. So to do that, let me just select all my buttons and go to the top bar and trigger the component menu and hit create component set as you can see we have this uh, box outline that indicates that this is a um, component set and here i have four variant of the same component let's go to assets and it will show us just one component and right, he, right here in the sidebar we can switch between variants but let me show you how to add properties and values to my buttons so here for my variants i want to add uh, three properties the first one will be button icons and button arrow and button drop down and here I will not give him any property because it is default and I can also add values uh, boolean values but just let me show you how to add uh, variant properties first so here let me select my uh, component and go here in the sidebar and I will create my first property uh, which is which is a uh, button icon and the next one let's go to this tree dot icon and hit add property add new property I will add two properties okay okay let's just add one and uh, let's say button button arrow and add another properties and name it button drop down next here this is the value of the button I will add a boolean a true or false so I will add a false value to every properties of my component. Next, I will just select my uh, components and add assign those values to my component. So the first uh, component here, as you can see in the variant section, I have button icon false, button arrow false, and button uh, drop down false, which is, which is you know uh, the default one. Next, I will here uh, in my second component, I want to add button icon true, because it has a icon. So here is true, and the two other properties are false. The next one I will add button arrow true and drop down false and icon false. Next I will add to button drop down value to true. And here we have our uh, variance property right. Let's go to our assets and drag our component. And here, as you can see in the sidebar, we have three knobs that we can switch on and off to access our variants. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for your time, and I will see you in the next video.